The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus, or rather John, said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eyes causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is good to be here to celebrate this Eucharist with all of you. Brothers and sisters, I am sure that one of the things we sorely miss is to be able to physically gather freely in the groups we belong to, in the groups we belong to. Surely all of us here, we belong to many different groups. The most basic group I believe we have is the family. For me, if there is one blessing that our family, meaning my brothers and sisters, my siblings, received in this pandemic is that for almost one year and a half already, Sunday after Sunday, we gather virtually. We are able to share our stories and difficulties. And the deeper meaning of our Sunday conversations is that we wish to tell one another, we wish to tell each other that we support one another, that we are there for one another. Of course, there are other groups other than the family, like the school group. I'm sure the students miss their classmates very badly, their barcada. We have also our work groups, our civic groups, our church groups, at kung ano-ano pang mga grupo na bahagi tayo. Na dahil nga sa pandemya ay mahirap para tayo ay magkita-kita, magtipon. We know, brothers and sisters, that groups are important because they shape our identity. They give us belongingness. It is a joy when we can say that the members of our group are close, do all, malapit sa isa't isa, that we care for one another, we support one another, we have one another's back. But one warning against groups or among groups close to be na dool kita na malapit kita is super okay but a closed group C-L-O-S-E-D closed sarado butangan o di ang close malahi nagyod ang but pasabot the meaning will change 
from being near to one another to have a closed group with the demons it's closed that means kami at ang iba labas a closed group with a D would mean two others two other D's that is dangerous and destructive members in a closed group sarado would have the tendency to see others differently they do not belong outside one's group the others are cut off in our gospel john goes to jesus and he complains teacher we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we tried to stop him we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us sa ibang salita nagsumbong si Juan kay Jesus Lord kining tawhana itong taong ito abay nagpapagaling ginagamit ang pangalan mo abay hindi naman natin sila kagrupo hindi natin siya kasama our Lord clearly teaches against closed group in this gospel episode Jesus says to one and teaches him do not prevent him there is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name can at the same time speak ill of me sa iba pang salita ulit one wag ganyan hindi eksklusibo ang grupo natin wag maging sarado Brothers and sisters, the latest encyclical of our beloved Pope Francis is entitled Fratelli Tutti. What is the meaning of Fratelli Tutti? This means we are all brothers. We are all sisters. We are all brothers and sisters. And I quote the Pope. He says, it is my desire that in this our time, by acknowledging the dignity of each human person, we continue the rebirth of a universal aspiration to fraternity. Fraternity between all men and women. The Pope says, let us dream then, as a single human family, as fellow travelers sharing the same flesh, as children of the same earth, which is our common home, each of us bringing the richness of his or her beliefs and convictions, each of us with his or her own voice, brothers and sisters all. And also, as I mentioned, today, September 26, we celebrate National Seafarer Sunday, but also we celebrate the World Day of Migrants and Refugees. And in the message of Pope Francis, he begins again by quoting his encyclical, Fratelli Tutti. He says, once this health crisis passes, once this pandemic passes, our worst response would be to plunge even more deeply into feverish consumerism and new forms of egotistic self-preservation. God willing, after all this, the Pope says, we will think no longer in terms of them, those, but only us. And his theme of the message, toward an ever wider we. The Pope exhorts us to have this vision of an ever more inclusive world. He says, I also make this appeal to journey towards together an ever wider we to all men and women for the sake of renewing the human family building together a future of justice of peace and ensuring that no one is left behind going back to the gospel our lord teaches not to cut people off as he taught this there are actually some things Jesus teaches that must be cut off. He says, If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eyes causes you to sin, pluck it out. Brothers and sisters, we do not take these words of Jesus literally. This is hyperbolic language, exaggerated language to make the point. 
What is the point of the Lord? The Lord is telling us, if there is something that leads us to sin, get rid of it right away. Cut it off. Wag tanga. Cutting whatever does not make us live our true identity, our calling to be children of God. Cut whatever makes us closed, serrado. Cut out what makes us prejudice our biases. Once one more matter that God wants to be cut off in the second reading from the letter of James. St. James warns the rich who oppress the poor. Oppression of the poor is what the Lord truly to be tried to desires to be cut off completely, eradicated from our world. I have quoted again Pope Francis in the cover photo of my Facebook. And the Pope says, Corruption is paid by the poor. Brothers and sisters, to be Catholic, mahimong katoliko, it means universal. Para sa tanan, for all. And so we pray, may we have hearts that are truly Catholic, that is a heart that is open for all. Huwag sana tayo maging katolikong serado. Mga katolikong sarado ang mga puso para sa iba. May our faith and love impels us towards universal communion, towards a wider and wider sense of we. Because fratelli tutti. In truth, in the Lord, we are all brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us profess then our faith in our loving God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, lights from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us offer our prayers to our gracious Father, who in His great mercy looks upon us with love and never abandons us, abandons us in time of our need. With confidence, let us pray, Gracious God, hear us. Gracious God, hear us. That the church leaders, especially the Pontifical Council of the Apostleship of the Sea, may continue to guide and support priests, religious, lay people, assist seafarers all over the world. We pray. Gracious God, hear us. That those who hold public office may find strength and inspiration in the mercy of the Father 
who never abandons anyone in need. We pray, Gracious God, hear us, that seafarers may accomplish their work with professional skill and a sense of responsibility and remain strong in times of temptations and loneliness, drawing inspiration from Filipino values, the Christian faith. We pray, Gracious God, hear us, that seek seafarers who those who feel lonely, those who suffered injuries or accidents, those facing a number of problems may feel comforted, guided, and strengthened by God's mercy. We pray, Gracious God, hear us, that our beloved dead may be welcomed in heaven with true and lasting peace is found. We pray, Gracious God, hear us, let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Gracious, Gracious God, God hear, us. hear us. Hear us, Lord our God, and prosper the work of our minds and hands so that your blessings may abound for us and for all your people, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.